Hi everybody, Flower Miko here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I rarely do any videos for that matter, but um, I wanted to do a, what do you call these even? Oh yeah, something along the lines of unboxing of um, some of the Sayuki Anime Girls Festival stuff I have. So um, more importantly, what I wanted to share is the Bromide box. Which I'm super happy to report that since it's the full box and they get every illustration that have been shown in the preview uh, that we saw online but um, before I get to this one um, I would like to just share some of the other stuff because I think as always mini chorus art is great so this one's in tribute to Sansa's birthday which my local time is gonna happen about um, two hours from now and if you see somebody in the back don't mind too much he's just sleepy be lazy like usual <laughs> um anyways I want to start with this was um the Sayuki Reload Blast commercial um soundtrack which from my understanding the uh, during the airing of the SRB anime they had promotional commercials for for the manga and I believe this were the same that um the Twitter account for Ishi Jinsha was posting so, in any case, they released the entire music and uh, for that collection, it's just actually pretty nice. If you look at the illustration, we'd, um, we've actually seen this piece of art before. Um, actually, it's hard to see, but that very poster that I have in the back corner of my room is the same illustration, it's just layered out differently with um, different background, but other than that, it's the same. And... Um, it's pretty cool. Basically, each character um, gets their own soundtrack. There's the full version, which I think most of these run around three minutes or so, and then, um, but the out of the 26 tracks, um, like the second half is like the commercial version. So, you know, they're the ones that air with the commercials promoting the manga. So, Sansa gets one. Um, Goku, Goyo Hakai. Um, Thank you, Minkoka, you got one. Sharak definitely gets. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, um, I'm not sure if they decide to sell this one, but if you do get it, I definitely recommend it. It's great. I really enjoy the music. And just a quick look at the inside. There's the CD, um, booklet. Let's open that up too, so you can guys. So there's definitely some information and message from the green there's i believe there's yeah there's a mini core message in it so hopefully in time i can help the translation for that which wish i could do it alone but fortunately i can't so i have to take some time oh and um you can see also that the jacket cover also flips uh has an inside version of i think other illustrations we've already seen I believe this are essential we've seen from manga covers, but don't want to person quote me on it. Only reckon um Chirac's sure one. So that's that for the music booklet. And maybe when I get around to editing this, I might actually be using one else. Uh next is this is the um line art book, sketchbook I guess if you want to call it. Um Again, this is one of the other color arts that um, Minikura used for one of the um, Coton chapters. And actually, what's interesting, so as we see Sansa on the cover, most of the, like, I think almost like three quarters of the book, it's just pretty much the, I'm going to say this roughly covers the last two to two three chapters of the manga currently which should be in volume three so this is basically the fight versus the attack I and mean, that's what you're seeing in line art which is pretty cool if you ask me um and i mean i think minikur is such an amazing artist and you know just showing this on camera does not do it enough justice again if you have the opportunity to get the item do get it Oh, and I realized, yeah, this actually does show up uh, the portion that um, we first saw in the anime before we got to see the manga, which is when the guys go back to the um, to the temple and basically tell the 
I guess let's do F off. <laughs> and I'll just leave it like that since we are recording a video. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. And the rest is actually the very first chapter once that you can read a plastic hand. And some other sketches and fun things. So I don't want to spoil it too much because honestly, um, I'm not sure if I'll get around to scanning this myself. I can tell you I have a lot of things on the back one, but if you can get this book, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So, that's that. Next, which I, were one of the ones that I was looking forward to, the clear files. Okay. Here's Sansa, which is what's so fun about this is that they're being quite in character recording of all things the drama CDs and all the characters and stuff in the series. Which um, this is actually what's cool is the um, check it out. It's a double sided folder versus the usual clear file, you know, you just stick papers in it. So you see Goku's on the other side, the Grigle too. And you see it opens up and the flaps are inside and the design here is probably kind of hard to see but it's actually music instruments. So I'm leaning that this is towards mostly them recording characters some of which I'm gonna say right now I'm putting my money on it that <laughs> there will be characters in these for Sayuki Reload Blast. We've seen so much merchandise I wouldn't put it past and personally it's one of the things I would actually like to see more than as much as I love charms and everything else. I think hearing the voice actors the best. And just a little trivia, this shirt, the, uh, there is actually another uh, illustration with Goku. It has Goku and Goyo, but Goku is wearing the same shirt. So uh, maybe you recognize it. So now maybe in time I'll get around to scanning it too because it's a pretty cool illustration too. And it's kind of one of those like duo sets that I'm going to cover this. And to show you the other one, here's... Uh, Akai and on the flip side Goyo. You know how they always set them up. It's always Goku and Sansa then uh, Akai and Gojo. Also on the recording studio. What can I say? Goyo's again wearing a you know headscarf, pretty typical of him. But I just love how Minikura uh, does the fashion for the for the guys. Again on the inside is also more music interesting. So Pretty much, I went. <laughs> why did you get these? So, in time, I'm gonna get to scan him, and you'll see these on the uh, cherry uh, blossom image forum in due time. I'll try to get to it before the end of the year. If not, I mean, I will in time. Because um, my plan is uh, to continue focusing on UK at least for the foreseeable next two months. and. For any of my Atomic fans that might be watching this, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Corelize so, or gosh, what else do I scan? Um, Beast Princess. Um, I don't think I'll be doing color mounts, I don't have an art book for it, and I think all of you have it. But if there's enough interest, maybe you know, we'll look into it. Um, tie shells, you know, the usual things that I've scanned that, um. And I know most people probably have been looking at my blog because of Core Realize and right now I just don't have any new material so given there's a game coming out with that in time, um, I'll probably get around to scan. So let's just say roughly maybe around March. <laughs> then I might have enough to say hey, I started doing a new batch of scans but for now, I'll continue with Sayuki. So one of the reasons I wanted to get these bromides was because uh, what caught my attention is that I that Minikura was actually using a lot of the um, photos she used for the Sayuki Twitter log, and I noticed she's kind of had this style as of recent that um, she likes to use actual real backgrounds. So she'll I mean she'll draw the characters. But then she'll merge in with a real background, which I think is pretty interesting. And I feel it's something that she's been going for, kind of to give us a more realistic feeling of the journey. Well, that's my take on it anyway. And one reason why I particularly like this illustration. So when I saw the box, pricey, of course, absolutely. What is it when you import from Japan? But to me, it's like a legend. I'm in a current fan, I have to get it. So. And there was new illustrations, I mean, in more than any, so wait, what I counted, nine new illustrations, I think it was definitely worth it. 
So I'm just let's just see what we get. Yes, why not? Let's shuffle them a little. So let's begin the unboxing. So um two um come two of these come for envelope and let's see what we get on the first one. I mean it could be anything in here. Oh, what do you know? I got sand so first. This one, you see, is from the Sayuki Twitter log. So you can see they're pretty thin, but it's interesting that they're printed very much like in photo paper. So I think, yes, we are meant to think of these as like photos from the journey. And um, even though I have the Twitter log, I in particular always like this illustration, so in time. Okay, so it's gonna go to the screen. And, uh, oh, another one from the Twitter log. Here's Goyo. So this is actually, I think, the last uh, part of the last illustration of the Minikura update, uh, uploaded for that. So when the guys were saying goodbye, and we were all pretty sad. <laughs> it was ending because we had too much fun for two months, you know, enjoying that Twitter log. So that's the first one. <laughs> And this is uh, what, 20 packages, so I'm gonna try not to drag this on for too long. Uh, bear with me. Next package. Ooh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> All right, so which one's the next one? So this is the fun one. The guys are in the water gun fun. Water gun fight, that is. Pretty nice. And the next one, you saw it and you saw nothing. <laughs> Um, I can't remember if I uploaded this one, but uh, if you've seen the shower picture <laughs> of the guy's butt naked, that's the one. <laughs> so thank you, Minigram, for including some fan service. <laughs> no, as always. <laughs> uh, sorry, heck, guy fans, you know, he was too modest. She gave him a towel, but you don't get to see anything. And if you have the Soul of Pepper art book, of course you get to see a bit more of that. Those illustrations, but you know. Again, what do we got next? Oh, this is an AF. They're both AFG illustrations. You probably remember that we're using the calendar as well. The wall scrolls. What can I say? I remember when you said something about dressing the guy. It's very 90s for this stuff. So, actually, one of my favorite sets of illustrations. Cool what we get next um I think yeah uh, the guys like what are they they're all wearing jumper suits or something overalls I should say anyway industrial work but you see this is I believe in the station even before before the Twitter log and I, I think she already was using that style using realistic background so I can see what she picked it for the for this set this one's another Reload Blast one. Um, this looks more like completely drawn by her, but I guess it it, it kind of looks is one of those you know they're in the journey, so fits with the set. Uh, okay, hopefully we find one of those new ones pretty soon. I don't know what, oh, this was a pretty old one Just from Reload. Um, I can't remember. Probably Volume Two of Reloads, but it's actually one of my favorite illustrations. It's on. Uh, Nighttime illustration of the guys just in them. Pretty cool. One of my favorites, so no complaints. Another mother one. I can't remember if this one's is a reload or a reload blast illustration. Oh, I have to look back through the book. So um, I think that you know um it's time to think that Minigor has to reuse the outfits, if not nearly similar outfits and other illustrations, which I'm thinking is the poster that I have like <laughs> the one down the road the last but have to look at it later. Let's see what else we get. Um, Sayuki 2015 calendar cover. Pretty simple, straightforward. But again, background looks much more realistic, so may or may not be hand drawn. Cool. I love it. Uh, another illustration. I know the guys are just kind of stretching their hands out, reaching for you, them, us, whatever. <laughs> So, okay, some somewhat older one. But I think the the one we saw before from the Reload, I think that's the only illustration she may have used from Sayuki Reload then, and everything else Reload Black, but the Goyo. 
This one's definitely Rilo Blessed. Oh, well, you guys already see the other one, so. <laughs> anyway, all the guys, in, you know, by the Jeep, pretty cool. And that other saw no one. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course, you know, they never saw giving <laughs> going hard time because his hairy legs. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna drop that anytime soon. It's it's medical red, so you you can see. Ah! Found one of the new ones. Look. Here's Goku. So this one's brand new. Pretty much um more a portrait. Hey, he even signed it for us, which May your props to Minikura that she can do different types of handwriting for her characters. I can't imagine how you did. Recently at work, um, I was having to do that, uh, autographing uh, Christmas cards for a customer. <laughs> and they asked me to do the signing for two of our satellite uh, employees. And gosh, it, it just didn't look good. <laughs> I'm terrible with that. So again, yeah, make your props to Minigur. So that one new. This one's also new and I think it's really cool. You can totally see that Minigur used 100% real background and she just blended it with her, her illustration of Goku sitting down on the on the roof of somewhere. Some town, somewhere going west. <laughs> I was, you know. How about as much as we can say for Okay. Here's the okay, this is not not so old. Yeah. Not so old, not too new, whatever. You've seen this one on Sajuki Relo Blast Volume 1. And of course the respected chapter. What's different about this one is that she changed the background as and because the guys are giving a I guess a table interview. They autographed this one as well, so yeah, yeah, it does look it's just a, uh, the autograph, nothing in particular, unlike the next one that I'm going to scan this and God, <laughs> I want someone to translate what the heck this one says, but um, I'm going to guess they're mostly poking fun at Sansa because, uh, well, I think it's all of them that are written on it somewhere, or for all I know, it just could be maybe the very first lines that I included in the Twitter book, but if anybody was able to see it clear enough from that, from the video, by all means, if you can let me know, that would be great. All right, um, another one from the Twitter lot. It's Hakai with Kuryu. Pretty cute. Oh, look at this one. I'm sure a lot of you remember this one, that Goku sleeping. Which Sansa took, and before one that there was one of constant a picture of Chibi Goku, which I think gave a lot of us the feels. <laughs> Can I say hello? This baby papa and son. Okay, they were just a little over halfway, or just about halfway through the package. Oh, another old one. This is from the and the Sayuki Rilo interviews. Uh, Sansa's picture and Hakai's picture. I feel like I've seen mostly a lot of the old ones, so I'm guessing we'll see more of the new hope. Oh, no, not yet. Another old one, uh, Goya's picture from the interview. Another Sansa picture from the interview. So, if you happen to get these, if you want to do something with them, then keep them there because I think I feel like it's kind of a waste just keeping them forever in the envelopes. Maybe make a photo album for the guys. I know I'm definitely going to be doing something with them. As I keep saying, because I just find them too gorgeous. Okay, so these are more the interview ones this time. Goku and Goyo. Um, okay. Come on, show me another new one. <laughs> no! For whatever reason, all of the interview ones were stuck together. So you don't turn that one around. Hakai's picture and Goku's picture. I believe none of the well, I said maybe go. Uh, guys, one may have even had a color version, but I don't remember Goku's having one. Okay, what do we get next? Uh, okay, this one's kind of not exactly new, but what's different? It is from the Twitter log, but the f picture that I'm in the corrupt was was actually a completely blurred out picture. I don't know what happened. I can't remember what happened in the story that the picture was 
podcast to come out blurry on purpose. So that's why she posted then. But if you have the Twitter log book, it shows you this clear version. So it's not super vague. So definitely, this one's going to get scanned at some point. And uh, that other, it's another Twitter log picture. This one will be a guy. Okay. I think it's about five packages left. So I'm going to guess that these have to be all the new ones. Other than that one Goku one. No, never mind. Take that back. Okay, so maybe it's the last last. Uh, this is the cover of Salty the Seven. But hey, it's all, you know, cool. Now it's a clean one shot, no lines and so forth. That's always nice. Uh, I can't remember where this one's from, but I'm gonna guess I maybe mean, having it was usually some in the manual promotion material, the usual. Okay, send you another new one finally. Here's Gonyu's autograph picture. It's part of that new set. Looks pretty great. So, um, definitely all these new ones are gonna get scanned. And uh, here's another one, which is pretty cool. It's Sanso and Hakai. No, Hakai, sorry. We didn't say Hakai smoke once. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Anyway, this is actually Sanso and Goyo smoke unites outside the, what I'm gonna presume is the inn. No smoking allowed. And it's gonna be really hard to see this. I'm, like, God, I'm wondering what that blue sign is supposed to be. It, it, I mean, um, I'll talk about it more when I actually post this on the blog. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's like a weird look. It kind of looks like you, Mao. Like the few pictures in, I don't know. I'm really just taking a guess. <laughs> and let's see. That's the two packages. So these always have got to be new. Yep. Okay, from Hakai's uh, autograph picture. Pretty cool. Same thing, or, you know, realistic bag. Oh, and this is a pretty fun one. Um, so, first I'm wondering how they Hakai <laughs> and Goku even convinced us to get on this picture. Like, okay, let's take a group selfie. It's actually not a selfie because if you look closely, uh, you can see Gojo has a cell phone and he's the one taking the picture. He is right in the middle and you can see his face in the reflection of the um, windows, mirror windows. So, I think, yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Although I don't think Gojo is too happy that he got forced to take the picture. Poor guy always gets stuck with the short end of the stick. Oh, okay. Guess the best, almost the last. I would say, say the best for last. Here's that so can I say awesome 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 I just really love this he is smiling stencil style but don't get me that and this sucker was the one that pretty much convinced me to get the whole set I just really love how Sans was leaning against that rose wall um whatever inspired mini crusades to do this one bravo like I love it I love this one so much and you know You'll be seeing him perhaps much sooner than later than the others. You never know. Okay, we're down to the last package. So, what do we have left? Okay, this is another new illustration. I'm not really sure what's going on. I mean, Goy is flipping the finger because maybe he says it's blocking him. I'm not sure. Um, what's the inspiration behind this? I do feel that maybe. It would be something like when the guys walked out of the meeting with three aspects and they got fired. But then Goku also took his So I don't know. Maybe they just visiting some temple along the way. You know the drill. And last but not least, this one is not new, but it hasn't seen much light. Um, Minikura did this one for. Uh, this was her New Year's screen in 2015. So she did. Yeah, so it was right after. I mean, I speaking, um, when she ended the Twitter log, so which I'm pretty happy about that because um, I never been able to track down the one postcard that was sent to fans if you sign up for it. So, I'm sure you can guess when this one's gonna show up on the blog. All right, well, that's it. Um, this video is actually been being pretty long. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and feel free to visit me at Flower and Miko Scans. Otherwise, the chair blossom in the gymporium and from time to time um, you can check out the 
the steep up is just notebook. Ugh, I'm pretty slow with that. There's definitely something on the way for that one as well. And um, anything maybe you like to see, some kind of picture you're looking at uh, for, um, let me know. I, I may have in my collection. I'm always tr trying to buy stuff from Sayuki and or any other series. I haven't really done you know, card captures tackle that because there's all the people that are more on top of that than I am. And um, I try to give my priority to obviously the smaller night series, which would be definitely Sayuki, you know, in a manner of speaking. And I, I don't think it, so far there are any other fans. Uh, there's only a few people scanning, really. So, but you know, every every tries to contribute a little bit. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good night. Peace out.